Welcome, I'm Paul Goldie, and today I'm interviewing a close friend of over six years, John Daniel, a freelance graphic designer. He works in a wide range of digital media. John's commitment and dedication displayed in his work, including numerous awards, has been viewed by millions. He's established a large community and audience in which he provides tutorials helping those to learn Photoshop. Welcome and thank you for your time today, John. Okay. Firstly, John, what attracted you to art in the first place? Well, I actually started art uh, when I was younger in school. So it wasn't something that I was attracted to. It just it was something that I kind of fell into. Um, you know, you kind of doodle when you're at school with the books. And I just seemed to kind of like it and started drawing girls' names. Like girls were a big uh, motivation as soon as a, a girl commented on it and said that it was a pretty good, I uh, obviously kept going and uh, practiced a lot more with it because, uh, you know, who doesn't like talking to girls, right? <laughs> now, how did you actually get into digital art and graphic design? Because, um, you know, I, I see the setup you've got here. It's uh, it's it's awesome graphic design setup. I see you're using a pad and whatnot, a, a Wacom pad and a stylus. Um, discuss how you first got into using the technology that you're currently using. Well, again, I kind of just uh, fell into it. It wasn't something that I initially planned on doing. Um, it all started with Pokemon, pretty much. Uh, I'll, I became obsolete. I used to clone Pokemon with two DS systems. And then power saves came out and I needed a PC to run it. So I ended up buying a laptop, which I have right here. Now, this is a good laptop. Um, it's broken now in the hinge, but it still works. And one day a mate came around and he was like, oh, well, you actually have a PC now. I should hook you up with uh, some stuff. And I was like, yeah, all right, no worries. I didn't really think about it too much. Then the next time he came around, he brought a uh, old Wacom pad and uh, old pen, and he loaded Photoshop up onto the old Acer, and from then on in, I was just hooked. So the technology that you use plays an integral part. Now, digital media and graphic design covers many areas. What are some of the specific areas that you work in? Well, me personally, I work in a, a 2D environment. So I don't use Blender or any of like Daz 3D. Um, I try to stay away from that side of it because it's just so in-depth. You know, I could go all the way up to Transformers and, you know, really get amazingly tech with it. And I'm just, it's a never-ending path that I'm not willing to take. So um, 2D definitely gives me that boundary, you know, it, it prevents me from going too in, de like in depth with it, but it still gives me enough freedom to be creative in whichever way I want. Because I, I do do a lot of 3D modeling in a 2D environment. So it's, it's a unique way of Photoshopping, but it seems to work. Okay, my last question to you is, what would advice would you give to uh, young digital artists or graphic designers looking to really... Uh, um, you know, spend some time and, and learn and develop their skills? What, what would you recommend or what advice would you have for them? Well, the first and most foremost piece of advice is practice. Clock those hours, boy. You need to just keep working at it. You know, the more hours you put in, the better you get. And this is just fundamental principles for anything that you do. You always clock hours as much as possible and look for knowledge like get in contact with people that are going to actually help you with knowledge not just put you down or you know tell you that you're doing anything wrong um, there is no right way to do anything so don't don't listen to anyone if they tell you that you're doing something wrong because you're not how do they know that it's not the right way they might have a million years worth of experience but there's still four billion left to go and that's all to be discovered. So work hard, dedication yields results, and have fun. All right, John, listen, I'd like to thank you for your time today. Um, I appreciate you showing us your setup and, and uh, letting the uh, inspire.
young aspiring graphic artists know what to do and i appreciate the advice thank you once again for your time it was a pleasure paulie much love